Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. On today's show, we're at the Vibram factory in Italy to find out how they develop and make their rubber. Now, whether you're a skier, climber, trail runner, hiker, whatever, at some point you will have used a Vibram sole. And I want to know a little bit more. So I'm here to meet Nicola. How are you yeah. doing, man? How's things? Hi, I'm fine. And you? Yeah, really good. Um, yeah, yeah. So welcome. We're, thank you very much. So we're here in the entrance hall, right? Yeah. And immediately, as I kind of walk in here, there's loads of shoes on display and different soles on display. Yeah, yeah. There are the soles of uh, all the segments uh, where we are working in, from tree running, mountaineering, uh, uh, motorcycling, uh, climbing for sure. So just to make this clear, you guys don't make your own shoes necessarily. What you do is develop a sole and then you work with someone, let's say La Sportiva, to create a shoe. The best thing is always to uh, develop together the shoe and the sole because uh, from the needs of our client, uh, we can understand uh, uh, which is the perfect compound to use. Okay, man, well, look, I'm excited to see how it all works. So where do we start? Yeah, we start from the design area and uh, then we move there, okay? Let's do it. Okay, here we are in the design area. It's uh, where we start to develop uh, our soles. So we start uh, from a sketch, then uh, we go in a design in just uh, without any color, just to understand how it will be the look. Uh, then a rendering that uh, lets us understand uh, how the sole will be, and a technical design. So this is a sort of a concept board where you show the, the flow of ideas. Yeah. Okay, so that's the design area here. Yeah. Where are we going to next? Now we go to the laboratory. Okay, so we're in a room with a few machines going on in here now. Yeah. So you've, you've designed the shoe, you know what kind of concept you have, and then you've got to come into this room and make the prototype rubber, right? Yeah, uh, to find the, uh, the right uh, rubber for the design where we want to apply, we have to try and to develop new compounds. And there's lots of ingredients hanging around the walls. In my head, rubber is sort of, well, in my head it was one thing, just rubber, but there's actually different ingredients in it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of ingredients, uh, around uh, 15, 20 different ingredients uh, to have a rubber compound. And uh, these are the machines that we use uh, to put all the ingredients together. It's kind of cool, I love the blue one, it's like just full of lots of bits and bobs and things. I like yeah, it. Yeah. Right. Okay, take me away before I make my own rubber. Uh, where to next? Uh, next uh, we go to the laboratory. Lead on. Okay, so there's a lot more sort of sterile, calmer room in here. Yeah. This is where you test the products? Yeah. Here is where we test uh, the physical and chemical properties of our rubber compounds. Physical sounds fun. Do we get to break yeah. things in it? Yeah, we break, we stress, and we do all this funny stuff. This is the tensile stress uh, test and, and is used uh, to understand the mechanical properties of the rubber. And uh, we check the rubber qualities uh, with uh, this kind of sample that is put in on the machine and is pulled until it breaks. Now Igor is checking the thickness of uh, the sample and then he put it uh, in the machine that uh, he will uh, pull uh, the rubber until his breaking point. We reach 700% uh, the, the length uh, of the samples in the beginning and uh, it means that the deformation of the lag can reach seven times uh, the shape uh, of the original uh, lag uh, before to, to break, before the breakage. Okay, well we've, uh, we've broken something, which is always a good place to start. Yeah. Um, where to next? <laughs> Now we go to the test area. Okay, but test area, I'm expecting some kind of sort of climbing wall. <laughs> sure, we are in Vibram. That's excellent. You say test room, to me it looks like a sort of giant playground. Yeah, it's a sort of. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a climbing wall down the end, sort of Meccano structure thing here, and then 
what's going on with this? Yeah, this is the mm, feedback ramp, we call it, because uh, it's uh, very useful to understand uh, how performs a sole, uh, especially on, on wet. You make this wet? Yeah, sure. Right, this is something I have to try, please. Yeah, you have. Okay, so that's Portiva TX3s. With, so what Vibram sole is on the bottom of this? Yeah, this sole is uh, made with a mega grip uh, compound. It's a really sticky compound, perfect for approach. All right, shoes on. Make it wet. Okay, so what's either rock, either side? Uh, there are two different kinds of rocks uh, to understand uh, if there is some difference of the okay. performance, it's uh, always the same. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, so up is good. It's quite, this is steep, this is steeper than it looks. All right, I'm turning around. Can I take my hands off, do you think? That's all good? Yeah, 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 you're safe, uh, you're safe with the uh, mega grip. It's Don't easy worry. for you to set, you're on the ground. All right, <laughs> so this is test one. Yeah, my balance got tested, but not the grip. <laughs> yeah. I just walk. Oh my God. That's kind of cool. I never, if I was like out in the mountains, I wouldn't necessarily trust. Well, I wouldn't want to trust, but like I can actually stick to it. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, considering that if you find uh, something that has got uh, this inclination and is uh, so smooth in the mountain, uh, you will never walk. No, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near <laughs> yeah. it. If it's running with water like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <thank> you. But <laughs> never. If I did. Okay, right. But with this kind of, uh, of rubber, you can. Okay. That's cool. I'm going to keep these. Uh, let's, let's go on. Okay. Now we go to the production. So this is what, where you actually make this rubber, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we've, we've designed it. We've come up with the concept. We've produced test stuff. And now it's time to actually make the things to put onto shoes like that. Yeah. We go there. I'm stealing the shoes. Okay. So this is our unpressed rubber about to be squished into the shape of a shoe. Absolutely, and everything is uh, uh, studied to have a, a very good pressure on the wall surface. Obviously, the pressure here is very, very high. I can feel the heat coming off this machine. 